Well, here we are flying the F82. This thing has three main strengths. The first one is the roll rate, the second is the speed, and the third one is actually a pretty big strength. And it comes in a strength of 14 M350 gals. And these shoot a lot faster than the M2s, and you have 14 of them. So you can imagine that a plane that's very tanky with this many guns is extremely good at handled. You would say that after so many years of this thing being in the game, that people would catch on to not head on this thing. And for some reason, people really like going head on with this thing. And I don't have to aim, I don't have to care. I can basically just push through it, because even if they do hit me 9 out of 10 times, I won't suffer that much damage. Dodge a little bit prematurely, and if I hadn't set him on fire there, and probably crit his wing roots as well, I probably would have died there. Luckily for me, that's not what happened. Very close and head-on here, but I don't really care. I'm just gonna push it. I'm grinding the event right now, and these are three of the four games that I actually played yesterday. And I got a six kill, which is this one, and I got two seven kills with one assist as well. So I thought, why not just upload it? It hasn't been a little while. It has been a year actually since I uploaded the video, so I thought, why not push this thing out? Because I found it pretty funny, and I just wanted to get rid of the footage. So, I can go head on with a Yak-3 here, and for some reason, everyone just likes to recommit, and I just don't understand it. This thing has an insane, obscene amount of firepower, and people really just like pulling into it. Actually miss everything there, and he recommits by neck -geeing. and you can imagine that neck -geeing is not as effective as uh, pulling up. And thus he just flies into my guns, and he didn't actually shoot back at me. He just gave me the kill. I'm not gonna go head on with those two that's spaced out in a way that I don't want to go for both, and the whole team is on my ass. So Attention instead, I will just go kill, and kill this guy, set him on fire, he burns up almost instantly, and we go into the next game. The, the other kill I got was a Wyvern, but he was chasing someone, so the kill itself wasn't that special, so I'm not going to bore you with that. A little bit of an update. As some of you know, I work in the hospital and I have to take care of quite a bit of corona patients and yesterday I might have been infected. If I am infected and it's pretty severe then I won't be able to record many videos, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just letting you know in case I do start uploading a bit less in the next week or two, then you know why. Not too worried, but you know, better safe than so. A Yak-9 on the right, bomber right ahead, it's a Sterling. Not too worried about a bomber finishing game, especially when it's a Sterling. And I see two guys on my right that are lower than me. And this Yak-9 seems to be pitching up for me. I'm not sure why he does this. But I have a lot of ammo. 5600 rounds. So I'm just going to spray. That's kill number one. Recommit for the second guy. And that's kill number two. And just like that. You just hold, hold the trigger down. You waste all your ammo. And you just act like a fire hose. And it's pretty damn effective. As long as people don't dodge your head on. And I just... And again... Why people still go head on with this thing, I have no idea. And because the gun pot is in the middle and it arcs downward, you really get this really nice cone, just of a solid laser beam coming out of the middle of your plane. And this this just makes it so effective. You have so much range with this, you have so much lead in the air that if you basically hit them at any point of time, they just disintegrate. And that's what makes this thing pretty funny. I compare it very strictly to the A7D. That's the moment people stop head on you, I'm not sure what he was trying to do. The moment people stop head on you, you become a bit of a boat. The thing doesn't turn that well. Yes, I reversed the Yak-3 U in the intro, but you also have to keep in mind that he flew back into my guns. I did reverse him, but it was because he messed up, not because I played it right. Maybe a little bit of both, but it was mainly that he messed it up. Donier 335, up at altitude, chasing a PB4Y. He seems to be having some engine damage there. Not sure how damaged he is, but considering the rate I am catching him at, I'm going to assume that one of his engines is dead. He kills the PB4Y, and I'm just going to be pitching up for him. No one around me, safe me to do so. Zoom in, of course, because that's what you do. He's so slow, it's basically impossible for me to miss at this point. Plus, 50 kills as well, just a very high rate of fire. And I run the tracer belt for a very solid reason. In the event that I don't just absolutely obliterate someone, I will just set him on fire in one shot. And that happens quite often. Actually, just shoot center of mass. And the amount of rounds that you have, something will hit a single fuel tank. And when that happens, they will be dead. I shot some more at the Donier because lately, after I crit someone and they crash, I didn't get a kill for it. And I wanted to make sure that I get my kills because, again, I'm doing the event here, which I actually completed in about four games. The enemy is winning. 
Only needed to go to arcade for once and then get some bomb uh, bomb drop. Shoot once more at him just to secure the kill. Missed, but it doesn't matter. He went into the, into the ground and he actually gave me a kill. Mark 14 FR, clipped wing Spitfire, very slow on the deck, not a very hard kill. And you will notice that trend more often than not today. Most of my kills are not very skillful. And that's because I just shoot at people and hope they explode. And that's just how you have to fly this thing. You can fly it very tactically and you can fly it very passively by running away and re-engaging. But that's not what this thing is about. It's just not very enjoyable like that. Part of Sniper Spitfire, not sure why you take a Mark 1 into this. This whole game has just been a little bit of a shit fest. I know that the Hornet is across this mountain ridge and I want my 7th kill. This is the second game in this thing. Well, I flew it before, I spaded it before, but I haven't flown it in a very long while. And I thought, just do the event with it. And it was pretty damn effective. So, there you have it. Hornet going very slow, probably going RTB. Not sure what he's doing. Spray a little bit. Very bad desync over there. Already, uh, the rounds already passed him, and then it set him on fire. And that's kill number seven. And here's my reward, in case you care about such a thing. And now we're going to go to the last game. And yeah, you might think that I'm flying this thing pretty brain dead, but in reality, that's actually completely true. This thing is just not a very high brain powered plane. You just go head on with people, you just spray at people, and you make sure that they die. And it's actually a very nice change of, change of pace, because normally I try to take things pretty methodically, try to be very uh, more accurate, try to not waste my ammo, try to be effective, and sometimes that just kind of like bores you out. And just full committing with people. Knowing you will win basically every engagement is actually pretty damn enjoyable. And why is that pretty damn enjoyable? Because lately everyone just goes head on with everyone. Doesn't matter what you do, doesn't matter what plane you are. Like when I'm flying a 109 and this guy is basically stalling out, he will try to pull ahead on with me. So I have to break off, re-engage and this all takes time. And I don't like that because I'm a very impatient person. But being able to point your nose at someone and wait for them to get in range is actually... A nice change of pace. So yeah, I'm going for the P47. I'm pretending to stick on him so that the 190 on the right over there will go head on with me. And the moment he comes head on with me, it's too late for him. He doesn't want to go head on with me. You can see that he doesn't want this. He's dodging. He's trying to get out of the way. But at this point, he's way too slow. He just came out of a climb and I just hose him out of the air. Just like all the other planes. And now I'm on the 6 of the P47. I'm going to be slowly catching him. And with slowly, I mean actually pretty rapidly. This thing goes about 630 on the deck. With the gun port, without the gun port, it's 650, 660, it's a little bit faster, it's like 30 kph. And that's a pretty significant difference, but at 5.0, you know, that's plenty fast. Do keep in mind that the web is limited and you don't have a lot of it. I'm not sure how much it is, it feels like about 8 minutes, maybe 10. I'm not sure how much it is, but I have run out once. And after that I have been a little bit more careful. I'm, I'm just not sure how much it is exactly, I don't really pay attention to much while playing this plane I'm just full sending it trying to get as many kills as I can and at that I succeeded I think just hose this guy crit him, shoot a steel control out, didn't notice it right now but when I shot more and he was rolling but not pulling, not flying straight into the ground it was pretty obvious that he was not going to be pulling out of that and that's kill number 5 and that's basically all there is to this plane sorry for the very a boring, well maybe not boring, maybe people enjoy this, the very brain dead review, but I, I can make more of this, this gameplay that I am, I can't over analyze things that I'm not doing. Last video, I did a tank video, a lot of you people didn't actually watch it, if you are interested in that, it's the class 3 of the event tank. I know most people don't care about tanks, but the people that have actually missed it, there's so li little people that watched it, if you don't want to see those tank videos then let me know. Otherwise, I'm letting you know right now so you can go and watch it. But someone said I was overanalyzing the situation of Camp in the Rock. This is what it looks like when I'm actually not thinking. I have nothing to talk about. I'm just pitching up for this dude. He's trying to stall out a G55. He's going extremely slow. And I, I'm seeing... I might get a nice snipe in here. 1.4 kilometers, 1.3. Just shoot a little bit. Get a crit. Very unlucky. Go down here, try to push in, just not enough pull, he's going to be killing the G55, unlucky for him, F6F dies in the background as well to the same dude, and at this point I'm right on the 6, so way too slow for him to dodge, 
I have a better roll rate than him. And there you go. Draw a little line over his plane. And he just he's out of the match. And now there are some bombers left. And that's basically what the end of this gameplay is going to be like. So if you don't care about that. I'm basically just going to be rambling. I'm just trying to finish up the games. Trying to show all of it. Show the result screens at the end. And going to be speeding up a lot. After this kill I will be going on to B. And then killing two more bombers. So if you don't care about that. Feel free to tune out. I will see you all very soon again. And other than that. For the people that do want to stick around. Feel free to stick around. I got a 264 right ahead of me. He has two 20mm turrets on the top, but he only has a 13mm on the bottom. And a 13mm isn't that amazing. Especially not considering I have 14 of them. Just slightly smaller. He's trying to shoot at me. His gunner won't be able to shoot all the way down, so I get straight below him. Do this very gradual climb in so he doesn't have an angle. And he's dead. Hit me once, and you can see that the damage was pretty artificial. But you go out to be anyway. And I just spray a little bit to slow down. Go for bell land. It's a little bit faster. And I just can't be bothered to land this thing properly. Uh, I was going back to base to let the enemy bomb. I don't think they had enemy chat turned on. So they couldn't read what I was saying. I was letting them bomb a little bit. So that they could uh, get the event done. But uh, they didn't reply. So if you saw this I'm sorry. But considering you didn't reply. I'm not actually going to let you live. Also the tickets were dropping down anyway. So there's very little reason for me to actually let you live. But you know, for all the people that aren't aware, you have to go to the option, to the chat options. And then you have to set your chat to everyone, not just your team. And this makes it so that you can see the enemy team talking as well. So if the enemy team is proposing something to you, maybe there's a guy in orbit. Maybe there's a guy camping his base. Maybe there's something going on that you have to know from the enemy team. Other than insults, because mostly it's going to be insults. Then you'll be able to see it. And this game I was letting them bomb. And because they went to the sides to, to run from me basically. They didn't get any bombing, bombing in. But you know it is what it is. I'm doing the exact same thing as the first 264. Get it underneath him. And I just hose him down. And that's kill number 6. Onward to the last guy. And you can see that he just. He, <laughs> he's not going to be doing much. Because I just stay underneath him. And the 264 if you blow it. It's not going to be much, uh, much of a threat. Last guy just took off, and I will be trying to cut him off by seeing his dot, pointing my plane in front of him, closing the distance, because the tickets are kind of low right now, and I do want to make sure that I get that 7th kill. And I really want that 7th kill, because I'm feeling robbed right now, I got 6 kills and an assist, 7 and an assist, while not actually better, because it could have been 8, at least it's not 6, you know. So I really want to get this guy before the tickets run out, and the tickets are ticking down pretty quickly here, because it's a, well, one of those new maps where the AI kill each other very fast, and even soft targets can't towards the tickets. So this makes it so that uh, the tickets run down a lot quicker than they used to. Also only have 25 minutes to complete this. And this game lasts like 23 I think. I'm not too sure how much exactly. And he turns away towards his AA. And I can do two things right now. I can avoid his AA and then not get the kill. Or I can go completely suicidal. Stay below him. So just push through those 13mm. Set him on fire twice. Break off. My plane is all kinds of fucked up right now. But he died. And that's kill number 7. And that's the game. And that's all the games. I got a lot of games this, uh, this video. Only 40 minutes long. It's not too bad. I'm trying to get you uh, as much action as possible. Here comes the last result screen. If you care about such a thing. And thank you all for tuning in. I hope I will see you all very soon again. If something happens with my uh, corona situation. I will let you know. In terms of a community post. Otherwise just join my discord. See you all very soon. And have a good day.